High performance milling with PCD and low adjustments efforts. Sounds like a dream, doesn't have to. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Johnny, Director Sales Tools here at Irma. Welcome to a new episode of Johnny's Tooling Time. Today, I will show you how easy it is to change an MX Diamond milling cutter. Thanks to our precise interface, it's done within one or two minutes, and we guarantee a perfect radial and axial runout of four and two microns. Replacing the cutter is as easy as it looks. The first step is to remove your tool out of your machine and place it into a tool holder. Firstly, you need to remove all the screws like I already did. I have only left one. Then the second step is to remove the ring and clean your surface. Then take the new insert, put it on your freshly cleaned holder, make sure to orientate the insert the right way and rotate the insert against the rotation. Then take your screw, put it back in and make sure to tie the screws across and please use a torque wrench. Lastly, take your tool and put it back into your tool chain. But make sure to leave enough space beside the tool to not break your tips. Please make sure to not exceed the maximum RPMs which are labeled on the tool. And of course, if you want to reach a very good surface finish and very high RPMs, please balance the tool on a balancing machine while using those balancing screws here. The milling cutter is in metric and it is suitable for all regular shell mill holders. And of course, we recommend to use a holder with internal coolant. As you can see, the tool is very easy to use. And if you still have some questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to us.